Why are dead whales dangerous? Whales are the largest animals on Earth. Moreover, the blue whale is the largest creature that has ever lived on our planet. Many people are very fond of whales, finding them extremely cute and kind creatures, even despite their size. In this regard, in the case when the whale throws ashore, even if it is already dead, crowds of onlookers gather around it who are not aware of the danger of being close to the animal. The gas pressure inside the body of a whale can reach several tons. And at any moment his body can burst in a split second, and his organs can fly apart, in a radius of 50 meters around the beach at a speed of 70 kilometers slash h. This especially happens when someone decides to poke a carcass with something or climb it. When a whale dies, its blood circulation and respiration obviously stops. His body has nowhere to release carbon dioxide and other waste products. This process increases the acidity in the cells, they lose their structural integrity and the tissues begin to break down. In addition, the bacteria that enter the body of the whale begin to multiply, forming carbohydrates in the body, lipids, and proteins. This process is putrid, which leads to liquefaction of organs, the formation of various gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrogen in the body of the ocean giant. Gases cause overload of the corpse, which affects its size. It happens that the body doubles. At a time when the pressure in the body of the whale becomes too high, gases begin to escape from natural openings such as the nasal cavity, mouth, and anus. This is a normal decomposition process that is common to all living things, including humans. The problem is that this process makes the size of the whale potentially dangerous. The greater the mass, the more gases, therefore, the greater the pressure. In addition, a thick layer of skin and subcutaneous fat allows you to hold the gases inside the body much longer.